let's take a look at some probability. If you roll a standard six-sided die, what is the sample space? Now the sample space is the space, it's the set of all possibilities for this experiment, this experiment of rolling a six-sided die. So it would be getting a one, a two, three, four, five, or six. So that is our sample space. Now visualizing or uh, mentally visualizing the sample space can help you with probabilities. In this case we have some follow-up questions. Find P of 4. So this is the probability of rolling a 4. So the probability is defined as the number of successes possible divided by the total number of outcomes which is the size of the sample space. So there are six events in the sample space. So that's going to be the denominator of the probability. The numerator, how many ways can you be successful? In this case, we're just trying to roll a four. There's only one way to be successful. So the probability we're looking for is one-sixth. If you went to a, a calculator and approximated this, you would no longer have the exact answer because this decimal would go on forever, repeating. So one-sixth is the best answer. Okay, the second one. Find the probability of the roll being odd. Now again, there's still six total in the sample space. Now if we look for odd, there's actually three solutions. So the number of successes we can have are three. So the probability is three-sixths. We can reduce that to one half. Okay. Now, the next question. If you pick a card from a standard deck. Now, this might not be something you're familiar with, depending on what country you grew up in. But the standard deck is 52 cards. There are 13 hearts. 13 diamonds, 13 clubs, and 13 spades. There's ace, two, three, up to 10, and then a jack, and a queen, and a king. Those are the different um, types of cards. Okay, so find the probability of getting an ace if you pick a single card. So we know the definition of probability, the number of successes over the total number of outcomes. In this case, there's a possibility of third, uh, 52. And now, how many successes are there? So there's an ace of hearts, that's one. There's an ace of diamonds, that's two. An ace of clubs, and an ace of spades. So there's four possible solutions. When we reduce 4 over 52, we get 1 out of 13. Now, simplifying the probabilities is um, expected in general mathematics to simplify your answer as far as you can. In this case, there's two different interpretations. So there's four cards out of the 52. There's also one type out of the 13 total types of cards. So both of those give you a nice valid interpretation of the situation of a standard deck. Okay, find the probability of hearts. So this is still the same question, same standard deck. There are 52 cards. And how many are hearts? Well, we have 13 of them are hearts. And that would reduce to one fourth. Now you can interpret the one fourth as there are there's one type that's a solution out of the four types total. So that would be another valid interpretation. 
13 out of 52 is the most common starting point people give because there are 13 different hearts out of the 52 cards. And then reduce. All right, go ahead and pause the video while you work on the right side. So the probability of getting a 3 is 1 sixth. The probability of an even is 3 sixths, which reduces to 1 half. The probability of getting a 4 or more is also 3 sixths, which reduces to 1 half. For the standard deck, the probability of not a queen is 30, let's see, uh, 48, sorry, 48 out of 52, which reduces to 12 out of 13. And the probability of a jack of diamonds, there's only one of those, out of 52. This can also be written the probability of jack and diamond. So this is actually our first chance of doing a probability of an and. Okay, I hope this helps.